Hello again. Thank you for clicking on my video about the new E71X through AT&T. In this video, I'll be reviewing some of the basic messaging capabilities of the E71X. So let's get started by using this quick launch messaging button right here on the right side of the, of the keypad. So now that I'm in my messaging application, I can uh, start a new text message, see my inbox, a lot of cool things. I'm going to go ahead here to set up email just so you can see what's there. All right, so when you first get to this, you'll have two options, Get Express Mail and Mail for Exchange. Express Mail is for uh, personal email accounts, uh, POP3, IMAP4, you know, through Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, all those sorts of things. And what it'll do when you uh, go ahead and press this button, it'll link you to a website online and download the current application for you, and you can go ahead and get that set up pretty easily. Uh, if you go ahead and use the Mail for Exchange option, that is for corporate email over an exchange server. So what you're going to want to do uh, once you launch that is, of course, type. it's going to first ask you for your email address. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in some uh, info here just for the sake of it. So email address, password, username. And then you're going to want to know also your company's domain as well as the uh, exchange server name. All right, so if you don't know that information, you're going to want to check with your company's IT department, and you can easily get that information and get that all set up. Now, once you have Mail for Exchange set up, not only will it push your email, but it will also uh, sync with, with your company's server. So it'll uh, synchronize your calendar entries, your address book, your contacts, of course. Um, so anytime you add a new entry from your phone, it'll sync back to the server and vice versa. So really nice once you got that all set up. So now that you know a little bit about setting up your email on the E71X, let's take a look at some of the uh, text entry. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new message here. Now first, uh, it'll bring up the uh, to entry uh, where you type in somebody's uh, uh, phone number. So you could hit options, go to add recipient, and it'll bring up your address book. But if you want a quicker way of doing it, just go ahead and type in the first two or three letters of your contact, either first or last name, and then just hit the center selection key right there. And then it'll find the closest match it can find and uh, give you the uh, recommendation. You just go ahead and select it. So it's a quicker way to do that. Now, the E71X also comes with the uh, predictive text capability. Even though it has the full query keyboard, it might be a quicker way of entering information. So you just go into options here uh, and then go to input options and either activate prediction or turn it off if it's already on. So let's take a look at how it works once it's on. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in some something here. I apostrophe. As soon as I type in I apostrophe, it recommends I am. And then I'm just going to hit the space bar there to go ahead and take that recommendations. So I typed in DOI and it, it recommended doing. And there you go. It's just finishing my words for me. and it knows the word YouTube. Now let's say I want to go ahead and hit the up arrow. Now it'll let me type whatever I typed realistically to that point, and it will also give me a list of other matches that I could use. So that's how the predictive text works. Again, if you want to turn that off, you just go to options, scroll down to um, input options right there, and that will deactivate prediction. Okay, now let's take a look at how to copy and paste on the E71X. So to get started, you're going to want to know where the shift key is. That's the second key in from the left here. All right, and I'm just going to hold that down, and then I'm going to use my directional pad, and that will highlight the text that I want. And then I could also just go ahead and arrow over and just use a portion of this if I want. Okay, now that I have that highlighted, I'm going to hit Options. And you can either scroll down or scroll up to get there faster. Editing options, and then you can copy, cut, and paste. So I'll go ahead and copy that. Now it's copied to the clipboard. Um, for example, I could open up a new email and paste it into an email. There's a lot of different ways you could do it. Uh, but I'll just go ahead and paste it right here below the message options. Editing options and paste, and then it shows up right there. So that is how to copy, cut, and paste on the E71X. And uh, finally, uh, one more quick shortcut, instead of hitting option send, I know it's only two button presses, but if you want to save yourself a button press, time adds up, right? Go ahead and hit the send key. On a text message or an email, 
that will automatically go ahead and send your message off. Uh, one more thing I want to show you in the uh, messaging capabilities of the E71X is the message reader. It will actually read out your messages to you. So if you have any uh, new text messages or email messages waiting in your inbox, the shortcut to do that is to just press and hold the left soft key right here. That's my other phone receiving the text message I sent. So just press and hold the left soft key right here, and it'll bring that up. I have one new message. New text message from Benjamin. Hello to all you crazy folks out there in YouTube land. Can't release Reading it, YouTube. Completed. So there you go. And the other way you could get into uh, the message reader is within the menu. So it'll go ahead and read out all your messages to you. Uh, last but not least, uh, before I finish this, this part up, I'm going to go ahead and show you how the uh, quick office works because a lot of you folks using the uh, mail for exchange for corporate email, you're going to want to know if you can download and view some of those <coughs> PDF documents and, and, and Excel spreadsheets and so on and so forth. So let me just go ahead and launch that. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm just going to go ahead and open up my memory card here. And under my documents, you can see I have a PDF, a PowerPoint, an Excel document, and all those good things. So let me go ahead and open up this PowerPoint. And there it is. So of course you can do options, you can do zoom, pan, full screen, all that stuff. Go to slide. Um, just hit the down key there. And it will switch through my slides. Okay, let me close that up. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the PDF here. As you can see, you're able to download uh, all these through your email and view them. Now, if you want to have full editing capabilities, there's uh, a software update that you can do directly through the device by clicking on the uh, Quick Office icon. And of course, you got Excel and Word documents capability. So again, thank you for watching my messaging tutorial on the E71X. Please be sure to check out my other E71X videos, and don't forget to leave your comments below. Thanks.